So let's try this using the remainder method or way or whatever the heck. Okay. So <clears throat> um, this one may, I don't know, with the eight. Um, I'm going to break this up actually first. So I'm going to make this uh, the cube root of 8 times z to the power of 11 all over the cube root of w to the 18th. And of course, the numerator I can break up into multiplication. So that gives me the cube root of 8 times the cube root of z to the power of 11. And this is still divided by the cube root of w to the 18. So uh, this would equal the cube root of 8 is just 2. Uh, but this z to the power of 11, 11 is not a multiple of 3. So I'm going to make that a fraction now, z to the power of 11 thirds. And we'll divide this by w to the power of 18. That one, that one would work. 18 is a multiple of 3, so we'll make this w to the power of 18 thirds. Not that everyone needs that step. So this would simplify into 2, and this is now z to the power of 11 thirds is the same as 3 and with a remainder of 2. And this is divided by w to the power of 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this now equals 2. I've got z to the power of 3 because we had 3 holes. But we had a remainder of 2, so I've got z squared, but it's going to have to stay in the cube root. And then we'll divide this by w to the power of 6. Let me show that division there. Here I got 11 divided by 2, which is the same as 11 divided by 2. 3, dang it. That's supposed to be a 3. Well, 3 goes into 11 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, so we subtract this. And this is our remainder 2, which is where this remainder of 2 came from.